Hello everyone, I'm Amanda and this is Big Empress Energy. I am here to do a love reading for all those concerned with Virgo. So you could have Virgo as your sun, moon, or rising signs. Um, your Venus could be in Virgo. Um, or just another important placement in your chart. Um, or you could be connecting with a Virgo. And that would make you a cross watcher. And in that case, you might have to flip the roles as needed. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Can you tell me about Virgo's person? All right, so first out, uh, we have conflicted. Um, this is that, I get Knight of Wands from this. This is that like in and out, wishy-washy, hot and cold kind of thing, kind of um, energy. Wow, okay, and commitments at the bottom of the deck. That leads me to believe that um, that's probably how they have approached commitment with you. But let's keep going. What else, please, for Virgo's person? What else for this connection, please, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? Ooh. All right. Divine Masculine. <laughs> um. You could be in this divine masculine energy or um, the person that I'm reading for could be in this divine masculine energy. It really could be either because energy is fluid. But um, what is coming through the strongest right now for my guides is that this person who is hot and cold and in the Knight of Wands energy is the divine masculine. But just flip that as it, as it makes sense to you and your situation. All right. So interesting that I don't actually the strongest message that's coming through with this divine masculine is that they have the capability to be this divine masculine like to come in in an emperor kind of energy but I get the impression that they're not possibly due to confusion and maybe a fear of commitment um, definitely some past trauma um, wow so boundaries um, Drawing the line enough. That's interesting. And just the word no. So this could be a stance that you took with the um, disrespectful, wishy-washy, in and out behavior. You know, it's like, if you love me, then choose me. Um, that's one of the messages coming in. But I also get that um, maybe this person just put up a wall. Like, it could have been entirely out of nowhere with this hot and cold. Um Maybe they ghosted or something, but I just, I, I mean, either way, I see this person as having, like, big emotional blockages. Um, and I, I think this card is representing that. And I also hope that, you know, it could be you sticking up for yourself as well, Virgo. All right, what else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? Okay. First card. Oh, loyalty. So this, like, trusting, um, just, like, genuine behavior. Um, yeah. I'm thinking that maybe this... I think that if they were in this divine masculine or divine feminine, what they're capable of, you know, pick whatever suits your situation. Um, this is you know, what they would be able to offer, but I see that they're not able to offer that right now. It's also possible, I'm getting another message that this person um, could have been in this, but is transitioning over to this loyalty energy. And with this card, I always get that there might be like a dog connected to you somehow or to them, um, but that doesn't, obviously that's not gonna resonate with anyone, but um, wow. Okay, clinging. They don't want to break the energetic tie, Virgo. That's for sure. They're not willing to let you go. But they're being indecisive, or they have been. Wow. Um, and, and spying is on this card as well. So if you have social media, I get that this person checks up on you. Um, and they might ask like mutual friends about you. Yeah, 
I don't know. Another message that just came through is this is your energy. And that's part of why they are so insistent on not letting it go. Hmm. I don't know. This person is in like a really um, unbalanced, unreliable place right now. So let's keep let's keep figuring it out. Um, okay. Well, we have chasing at the bottom of the deck, but this card actually stood down when I picked up the deck, and this was what um, I saw at the bottom of the deck. So this like solitary, um, almost like hermit energy, I really get that they're in that right now. Like I said, like they could have ghosted you. I'm picking up on for some of you, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for some of you, this is like in no contact. You two are in separation. Um, they're definitely lonely without you and they're single. Um, yeah. They're, I mean, they're single. They're not willing to let you go. I'm getting that they're not in another commitment. But they, with this, what's coming through with this is, um, I think they made the wrong choice. And they're, you know, every cause and effect, everything has a consequence. And I think one of the consequences was you setting that boundary and saying no. So, very interesting. Um, what else can you tell me about this connection? Please, Spirit, for Virgo. For Virgo's highest good, please, Spirit. Okay. Wow, okay. They're healing. That hermit energy that I was picking up on, the withdrawn, they're single and they're healing. They want to come back to you. They made the wrong choice, but they want to come back to you, Virgo. They, um, yeah, they're going through a tower moment right now um or have just left a tower moment um and it really gave them a wake-up call on the choices that they make and the person they want to be i see them like recognizing and beginning to take responsibility for treating you poorly um and not respecting this connection that i'm picking up might be a divine connection when they had it or at the very least you're just a total catch virgo and I'm a Virgo too, so I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I, I mean, this person obviously longs for you. They're clinging um, onto your energetic tie. They're not willing to break it. So, and they're checking up on you. Yeah, I get that they're coming out of um, a tower moment. And here is that unbalanced, you know, they're, they're in kind of an unbalanced energy, which is what they're healing, you know. <sighs> they're and they're working to release um the trauma that I was picking up on as well. Um wow, they might even be doing like they might be like improving their health and stuff right now, not just mental health and emotional health, but physical health as well. Like they might be going to the gym or trying to eat more nourishing foods. Um that just came in. So, and and there's a certain spirituality involved in this card. So this person could be going through a bit of a spiritual awakening. That's what this tower moment could have caused for them. But this tower moment definitely, um, what's the term that was a catalyst for, um, this like wake up call that they're going through right now that they, that they mistreated someone who was high vibration, high quality, um, and didn't appreciate it when they had it. Very interesting. This person's making me a little sad. I'm not gonna lie. You know, because it seems like they really, they really fumbled it. They fumbled their connection with you, Virgo. And I, I'm seeing that they're, you know, that's kind of sinking in. The truth of that is sinking in. I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck here. Clarity. <laughs> the truth. Their intentions and honesty. They're, they're getting this clarity. That's what this healing is, you know. I, I get that they are um, kind of going through like a spiritual awakening at this time. At the very least on a smaller scale, they're raising their vibration. Um, and they are, they're getting that clarity. It's so funny that I, you know, I was like, they're, they're starting to see the truth, you know. <laughs> that, they, that they messed up, they fumbled things. 
All right, Spirit, what else can you tell me about this connection for Virgo, please? For Virgo's highest good, what can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? Ooh, all right. Okay. Ooh, ecstasy. <sighs> okay. Um, they definitely find you exciting. Um, not just in, um, like a love sense, but possibly in a physical sense as well. Their time with you is like this. It almost feels like, um, a spiritual experience when they're with you. And based on the fact that you're here, Virgo, obviously you have some, um, intuition and some, uh, spiritual connectedness, uh, between you and, you know, the divine. You, you obviously are in that energy and I think this person sees that and recognizes that you might even be someone who goes into nature a lot and enjoys nature I hope you are it's very healing <laughs> I'm one of those people for sure all right oh bottom of the deck second chance opportunity wow they um wow they, they at the very least want to apologize to you because they fumbled this. They know that they let something very um, high quality go. And and um, they, they made a fool of themselves and the universe showed that to them. The universe rubbed their nose in it. That <laughs> um, they definitely made the wrong choice. Um, and that's what's causing this healing. That's what's like, you know, causing them to, to want to heal what they did so that they don't, they at the very least don't repeat the same mistakes. But with this, with this second chance, I feel like this person Virgo, I feel like they're not getting their hopes up, but they recognize that you two are, um, that you two had a divine connection. There was a higher purpose to your connection. Um, and I think that if they were given the chance, if you weren't completely closed off to it, I think they would want a second chance and ask for it. Um, once they exit this hermit healing energy, they're definitely, they're trying to come in the right way this time. I get that they didn't come in the right way the first time. You know, they were, they were in this hot and cold in and out. Um, and they, they might've even put on a front, like I have multiple choices. Like I don't need you. Um, that's coming through too. Yeah, very Knight of Wands. <laughs> okay, what else, please, Spirit, for this connection? What else for this connection, please, Spirit? Foundation. That they're coming in the right way. The tower is um, the collapse of weak foundations, and this tower moment had to happen for this person to. Um, recognize the way they have to come in the next time this person could be a parent um i'm getting that but i'm also getting that they want especially with this um, dog i'm getting that they want a really strong foundation with you and like that ten of cups kind of energy like the the house the kids the equal partner the dog the cat whatever i'm getting that they want that happily ever after with you but they know they have to come in on a much stronger foundation. And this won't resonate with all of you, but with this divine masculine and this um, child, you could be dealing with a father or a mother. Um, so that's very interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, mistakes. They recognize what they did. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what's... Um, catapulting this healing within them is that they recognize that they made the wrong, they had multiple choices and they made the wrong choice and they feel pretty stupid because of it. Yeah, they, they know they made mistakes for a go. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to forgive this person or take them back, but they do want to make it right with you. I see that. And they want to come in the right way so that you know, it's, it's, it's genuine that it's not just to win you over, you know? But they view being with you as ecstasy, as the happiest point in their life. Okay. Um, what else, please, Spirit? 
I love that loyalty and foundation are right here next to each other, like right one on top of the other, because this is the energy they're healing to get to. Like this is, um, they're determined to get to that point so they can come in and at least have some hope of a second chance with you, or at least have you know that they regret what they did and they're genuinely trying to be a better person. Um, yes, spying. That's what I'm saying. I don't think this person is like a creep, but I think they think about you all the time and they're, um, they're not willing to like break this energetic tie. They miss you, you know, they could trust you. They felt secure when they were with you. Um, and they, and they felt ecstasy. Like it was the ultimate happiness, like the sun, you know, from tarot. But, um, yeah, I get that they're probably, I mean, if you two have mutual friends, they're asking about mutual friends. And if you have a social media presence, um, or like any social media accounts, I get that they're checking up on you through that. <sighs> Very interesting energy, Virgo. What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit, Guides and Guardian Angels? What else can you tell me about this connection? What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? Yeah, this person could be at a distance from you too, or possibly moved away, um, or just, you know, they're distanced emotionally at this time. They're definitely distanced emotionally at this time because they're trying to figure out what, um, what, why they were so tempted to make the wrong choices because they know that they won't have anything with a solid foundation and they won't be able to be loyal if they don't come back in that and and if they don't fix the problem you know um you can't just like be like i won't ever do it again but then not make the changes you know the internal work you have to do that especially if this is a twin flame this could very well be a twin flame separation um what else for this connection? Please spirit guides and guardian angels. Okay, it's both of these. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, this person is going through insane amounts of change right now with this tower moment. Um, but I see that they are, I mean, this is more, in my opinion, more of that, like, Four of Swords Hermit energy. I know, I know it's a sidetracked and, and sidetracked, sorry, and distracted, but, um, I just, I see this woman out on her own in the water, you know, connecting with nature and trying to find the answers to the questions that she has, and she's not going to come back to shore until she, until she figures it out, you know? She's on that journey, that journey that the hermit's on. You know, knowing that you need to withdraw and go within so that you don't keep repeating the same mistakes. And, and so you're not stuck on that karmic hamster wheel, you know, and this tower moment really helped put things in perspective and level out that weak foundation so that they can come in with a much stronger foundation, Virgo. Very, very interesting energy. Like I, this is a very clear message to me. And then the last card is thinking. So if you were wondering if they miss you, they're, they're spying on you. Um, and not in a creepy way, just they're checking up on you. They want to be in your energy with this clinging. They miss you. That's, that's this missing you. And they're craving you and desiring you. They view being with you as ecstasy. They've never been so happy with anyone in their life. Um, and they knew that they could trust you. They knew that you were reliable. But they know, which is actually a really mature thing to do, they know that um, they have to go within before they can come back. Otherwise, they'll be selling you false promises. You know, they won't have been completely honest because they need to fix it so that they don't just fumble this again, so that they don't just hurt you again. They obviously care enough about you and have enough genuine love for you that they don't want to just come back and hurt you again. They want to fix what happened. Um, all right.
bottom of the deck is uh, shallow. And I'm getting that this is the connections that they've, every other connection that they've had without you. Outside of your connection. I mean, look at the depth in a lot of these cards. Like every connection they've had outside of um, the one that they share with you is just really empty. It, it, they don't have, it's not a spiritual connection, you know? So it's a shame. Mm. Yeah, I think they might have been dishonest with you, Virgo. Um, they, I mean, they could have been disloyal. That's definitely an option with this loyalty card here. But I think they, you know, just made a lot of mistakes, made the wrong choices, acted stupid, and didn't take care um, of this connection and, and just, you know, took it for granted, I think, is the message that's coming through. It's like they took it for granted. And now they're realizing what a mistake that was. And they, at the very least, want to come in and make amends for that. You know, they're really sorry they hurt you. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and um, pull some tarot to clarify these, Virgo. Yeah. The sun is at the bottom of the deck. All right. What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection? Can you tell me about this connection for Virgo's highest good, please? Ooh, I don't want it to flip. Yeah, they're healing. Look at this. They're healing. And they're recognizing... I mean, actually, the star is kind of... It reminds me of this distracted card here. Um... They're healing and they're recognizing that um, spirit has something in the works for you too. Like they're acknowledging the divine aspects of the connection that you shared. So they're they're um, very hermit energy. They're healing, but they're also learning. They realize that there was a lot they didn't know and that they they were very um, shallow. I think initially when they came into this connection. Ooh, all right. Spirit guides and guardian angels, please show me the cards I need to see and Virgo's person. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. Well, here is... <clears throat> Here's how they feel about what they did to you. I mean, they're, they're very unhappy with their choices. They know that they fumbled this connection and really messed it up. Yeah, they know they messed up. Um, and here is that there's a couple different messages through this card. The first one that came to my mind is that this person was like, oh, wow, I have so many options. You know, I don't necessarily need Virgo, you know, and they came in that wishy-washy, um, I'm hot shit um, <laughs> kind of energy, you know, like they, they thought, you know, that, that they could take this for granted, that it, that it didn't mean as much as it did. And they're realizing now um, how, how much it really meant to them. Yeah, now that, now that you had enough self-respect to leave. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the cloudy judgment card because that... Um, yeah, sorry. And the other message <laughs> with this card is that there's, you know, heavy confusion. Like this man is in analysis paralysis. Um, he doesn't really know which option to take. Obviously some of them are bad. Some of them are good. And then some of them, you don't, you don't really know what's in it, you know? Um, and, and just being overwhelmed with your choices, you know, and that's another one of those like multiple choices, conflicted kind of energy. Actually, I'm going to put this here. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, that, that is their main mistake that they made here. Oh, look, Virgo, they see it now. They see what they had with you. Wow. Okay. What else can you tell me, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection? Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Here is that healing again. Yeah, they're very much in the star energy. Here's that healing. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? 
the lovers and the two of cups came out they knew that this was a divine connection they knew that angels were working to bring you two together and i think they know now that you two coming back together is very much an option um because they feel that this is unfinished um yeah they really they feel this is unfinished these are going there <laughs> um now the chariot came out with these two cards you could be dealing with a Gemini or a, a Cancer, um, Virgo, but I see this as them, you know, once they get this healing done, and, and you very well could be at a distance, because the chariot has to travel. You know, sometimes the chariot will represent a literal car. Um, and that's not, necess that's not the main message I'm getting here. This is that um, once they get balanced... Once they figure out, you know, why they did the things they did and they're able to kind of forgive themselves and heal um, past the, the stupid choices they made, the, bad, the wrong choices, you know, um, the universe is showing them that, that they clearly made the wrong choices um, and they're feeling very shallow because of it. Um, but I just, the chariot is what will happen once they, once they come to that decision, you know, they're going to, they're, they're recognizing, they have to heal to truly recognize it, but they're recognizing, um, they're, they're gaining that clarity. I mean, that clarity card showed up at the bottom of the deck. If you remember, um, they're really starting to understand that getting with you and they might even be, you know, they're definitely single right now. I think they're staying loyal to you. Rec they're healing. They're recognizing that um, you two had a divine connection and they don't want to, they really don't want to mess it up this time. When they come back, they're determined to come back the right way. And that's really this charity, this <laughs> charity, that's really this um, charity. <laughs> Someone's name might actually be Charity, or they could um, be involved in charities or something. I don't know why that keeps coming in. The Chariot. Um, that's really this Chariot energy. Another thing I wanted to point out was that you have this 7-7 seven, seven here. So that's an angel number that you might... Spirit's telling me that you will get a message if you look up the angel number 7-7. Seven, seven. So we're definitely going definitely gonna to put that there. Okay. Wow. Uh, I just saw what's underneath the star. You have the lovers and you have the devil. This is what they're healing from. Um, yeah. This is, they, they're working um, towards the, beating these, um, they have self-destructive habits. I think they very well could have addictions. Um, at the very least, um, they, they just, um, they, they have this devil in them to a degree. Like they, they have, this is, they need shadow work is what I'm getting from this. And that's what this healing is. They finally gave me the wording. They, they need to do shadow work because they've had this devil, um, surrounding them in some way or another since childhood, since birth. Like I get their family wasn't even, um, didn't even give them what they needed growing up, like either emotionally, they might have even been neglected, but they, they didn't get what they needed from their family. I don't think they ever saw loving connections like this. Um, and, and they messed up. They really fumbled it because they, they didn't know what to do with it when they got it. They, you know, they said they always wanted it and whatever, but, but someone who isn't healed, who hasn't done that shadow work, um, once they finally get the thing that they said they always wanted, it's just, they just mess it up because they're so, um, because they're really broken inside and, and they have to work to fix that before they can, they just, they have to get out of this devil energy. And whenever I get the lovers and the devil, I mean, it shows me that, um, transitioning from a toxic connection, or at least this is what this person is hoping for to transition from this toxic connection to, um, a higher vibration connection. They want better. They want more because I mean the star, you know, they, they're in this healing. 
Um, they, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. I mean, we have Gemini, Aquarius, and uh, Cancer so far. Okay. Ooh, what else, please, Spirit? What else for the Spirit for this person, for Virgo? What can you tell me about Virgo's connection, please? Yeah, they're not ready to get to break that energetic tie, though. Look at how in their feelings they still are about it. I mean, they check up on you and they probably get really sad and yet they continue to keep doing it, you know? They don't want you to move on, but they also know, like, they, they want you to be loyal to them because I think they're being loyal to you at this time, um, even if they're not expressing that. I'm actually really getting that this person is spending a lot of time in their head. Very well could be a Gemini. They're spending a lot of time in their head and um, not uh, not expressing where they're really at and what they're really trying to do, which is just going to make things more difficult. But if they have to learn that the hard way, then they have to learn that the hard way. Um, I think to some degree they have low self-esteem and they think that this is, you know, the energy they deserve to be in. Um, and one thing I'm going to say is I do kind of get um, like a divine connection energy here. And a lot of, um, I don't know if you've heard this, but I, I met my twin flame and I really started to um, research it because for the longest time, I didn't believe in it. I was like, I don't think twin flames are real. I think we have multiple soulmates. I think we have karmic partners. And I think we have like soul contracts before we come, before we um, reincarnate in this lifetime. But I didn't believe the twin flame thing. I actually used to always say it's an excuse for people to stay in toxic connections. And I do think some people use it for that. But um, mine was textbook. It was completely textbook. And when the separation came, I was like, of course. Um, but I'm a Virgo, like I said, and, and I started doing lots of research. And one of the things I read that was really interesting is that a lot of twin flames will be kind of like um, interesting or uncomfortable pairs astrologically. So Virgo and Gemini was one of them that's listed. So you really could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, because they're they're both mercury and um they're just very different signs so you know it can really they can really mirror each other and kind of show the other person what they need to heal you know and it looks like that's what happened here very interesting virgo um okay yeah they're they're healing and they're not reaching out right now they're they're um they they had to have recently come out of this tower moment because they're not um they're not reaching out. They're taking the time to heal. All right. What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection, please, Spirit? Birds, guardian angels. What else can you tell me about this connection for Virgo? Virgo's highest good, please. The water could be significant <clears throat> for the two of you. Because, I mean, there's a lot of cups, that, but that, more than anything, is just how strongly they feel for you. Um, oh, that's too many, Spirit. What else for this connection, please, for Virgo? Wow, yeah, I get the impression, because um, these cards aren't wanting to come out. They're, like, sticky and a little um, closed off. I feel like this person um, doesn't express their emotions well. And they're so in their feelings about everything that happened um, that they're so in their feelings about it, but they don't, I, I get that uh, when they grew up, they probably weren't shown healthy emotional expression or it was discouraged in some way. Six of Cups. I, this could very well be a soulmate or a twin flame because often when I get these three cards together and, and, uh, the 10 of cups sometimes too, that's, I mean, that's what it is for me. Um, because they, you know, they, 
also like the moon and the sun, but that's, <laughs> um, they're remembering, like, like they're spending all this time thinking about you. They're missing you. Um, and there's a couple things that I'm seeing. Um, this dog is offering a flower and, uh, this little boy is offering a flower to this little girl. So they might, um, eventually come in with flowers, um, and a big apology this, yeah, this also can represent, like, making amends for past mistakes. But this is, you know, that nostalgia and that, like, past energy. Like, they're just, they're thinking, they're thinking about you a lot. I, I get probably all, probably, um, at least half the day is spent thinking about you and how much they regret the decisions they made. Wow judgment they want your forgiveness and they want a second chance with you wow and they're i mean angels are working here your angels and their angels are working to 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 it, at the very least for you two to heal um and be able to come together and make amends but i'm also getting that because <clears throat> of how strongly this person feels for you um they want a second chance with you and they feel that your connection is divinely guided and that um, in divine timing, they will be able to reconnect with you um, after they do this healing. Wow. But they, I mean, they're, they're having a spiritual awakening is what this is telling me as well. They're waking up to um, how this connection, this divine connection. Three of Wands. Um, this is, I mean, this card comes after the Two of Wands, which is a man holding the world in his hands, and um, he's looking out past his castle walls in the distance, and, you know, seeing all the places that he could potentially go, all the things that he wants in the world he can go pursue, but he just has to make the choice to make that first step. Um, and, and I usually associate that card with, you know, planning, Um but I see that this person is, they've probably waited too long. I'm, I'm getting they might have waited too long to reach out to you, Virgo. And I think that is, is really freaking them out a little bit, too. They're scared that uh, you've moved on and you're not going to want them back. Um, and that you just think they're shallow and a liar. You know? Um, wow, underneath that, memories reminiscing and then underneath that divine feminine and then underneath that was another spying card okay yeah but they they're in this stage where they're you know they're watching this is actually water at sunset it looks like a desert but it's kind of an illusion you know it's an optical illusion this is water at sunset because there are actually boats out there um which you know illusions and illusions and illusions but um I think this person was very confused, but they're approaching this stage. They're still alone, you know? So this is, they know this is a decision they have to come to themselves. This is, um, they have to um, take that risk and they're thinking about it, but they know that they still have a little bit of healing left to do. Um, but I'm, they are going to come towards you once they get that healing, in my opinion. That's really, I mean, that's really what I'm getting. But I am getting that they're taking a long time. And I think that's making them anxious. Um, I think it's probably really hurting you if you, I mean, if you want this person. Um, yeah, and if you're a twin flame connection, you know, you have that soul tie, whether either of you want it or not. So it hurts to be pulling on that um, and be separate, you know. Wow, they, they really... First of all, first of all, um, the, every other connection, every other love offer from the universe, they don't want it. It's been shallow. They, they see what they could have had. Um, and they're just in deep regret about that. They don't, they don't want anything else. Um, they wanted this kind of a connection, like a spiritual connection with another person, with us, with a soulmate or a twin flame. Um, but I think that they really took you for granted. I think that they really took you for granted. And one of these cards didn't, or was it at the bottom of the deck? I thought one of these cards had boredom on it. No. 
no. What am I? <laughs> Sorry, I, I guess I, I guess I'm, uh, I obviously saw that in one of the, um, at the bottom of the deck somewhere. Oh, yeah, I'm, God, I'm ridiculous. Okay, so Shallow had boredom on it. You're probably yelling at your screens right now. <laughs> um, you're like, we just saw it! Um, yeah, I, I get that they're just really bored and fed up with all of these, like, kiddie pool depth <laughs> relationships. Like, they don't want it anymore. They don't want something that can't progress to this. They don't, they want the real thing now. They thought they wanted it before, but now that they've had a taste of it, they're not willing to go back. They don't want anything else. And I totally understand that, you know? Um, once you've had like a truly fulfilling connection that, you know, equal parties meet this two of cups energy like that, um, reciprocal love, those kinds of things, you know, deep reciprocal love, um, you don't want to go back, you know, everything else you do see as shallow because you're like, this isn't going to be what I want it to be. You, you have that foresight after a certain point, you know? They're, they're working, they're working really hard to step into this divine, uh, feminine or divine masculine energy to match yours because they know that you came in, in the first place in that kind of an energy. Um, and they didn't match it. And now this, this is what they're healing for. This is what they're trying to get towards. And they're, they're, they want to come towards you. I mean, this, they, they long for you. They think about you. They want to come towards you. <sighs> okay. Um, what else for this connection, please, spirit? Ooh. The four of cups tried to flip over. What else for this connection, please, spirit? Oh, yeah, they're really, really struggling. They are not expressing, they're not, their family had to of, um, their family and the people surrounding them obviously didn't encourage expressing yourself emotionally. This person is, I mean, they're working really hard to heal, but they're keeping all of this to themselves and how much they're missing you. They're keeping it all to themselves. Wow. Um, yeah, they don't, um, they're, they're, I think uh, another message that's coming through is they might be burying themselves in work too. But the strongest part of this is that this is weighing so heavy on them. Like this, I mean, I asked about your person and look at their thoughts. It's all you and, and how much they regret the choices they made, you know? They're, it's weighing on them. They're not going to be able to keep it all to themselves for long. But for whatever reason, um, they try to hide their emotions or conceal them in some way. Very interesting. Yeah, like I said, it, I'm getting the impression that they might be taking too long, and I think that's scaring them. But they don't want to come in without something solid. They don't want to come in with this healing. Otherwise, they can't be loyal and have, the, have a stronger foundation this time around. So they're, they're scared about time. They're anxious about the time, but, um, they know that you'll see right through them if they haven't really made the changes and they want to do that for you. They obviously love you. What else, please, spirit? What else can you tell me about this connection? Please, spirit, guys, I've got Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. High priestess. Yeah, there's that, there's that concealing. Um, they're also having a, a, a spiritual awakening to all of this. Um, I just want to say you have six, six, um, two and two, and you have seven and seven. You two are for sure mirroring each other. This, I really get that this is a twin flame connection. This might've been the runner, um, that I'm picking up on. So, yeah, um, could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer, could be a Gemini. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's heavy water here, but that's just the, the feelings, you know, so because it's love reading. I don't know um, 
you know, if that's, if that's, uh, what you might want to base that on, but wow. And divine timing is coming in. This is the last card. Wow. So you have 10, 10, two, two, six, six, and seven, seven. I hot and seven, 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 seven is important. Two, two is important for you. Um, 10, 10 or, um, yeah, 10, 10. Wow. I mean, 10, 10 even reduces to two. Um, definitely look into these angel numbers. If you, I, I feel that spirit has a message for quite a bit of you through those. Um, so if you feel drawn to do that, I, I really suggest you do. Wow. Okay. And, and here's the thing. The two of you are in separation right now, but, um, that, sorry, I'm getting a lot of messages. The two of you are in separation right now, but, um, the universe wants you to, um, rely on your spirituality and have faith that everything is working out the way it's supposed to in divine timing, because look at the angel, you know, there's angels at play. Like the universe is spirit is guiding you two together, but they're making sure that you come in truly equal, truly ready for it. Um, and, and that takes uh, divine time. But I, I mean, I'm getting that there's so much change going on for this person with this tower moment and this wheel of fortune. Yeah. And they're at the end of their wands journey. I mean, there, there's a lot of change happening for this person. Wow. Five, six, seven of cups too. Very interesting. I always look at the numbers just cause, um, I don't know. I, I see a lot of synchronicities a lot. So I value the numbers in, in this kind of a reading. Um, yeah, they, uh, spirit is asking you to rely on your spirituality and trust them because this is divinely guided because there is divine timing at play, but also spirit is asking the same of them and they're healing and awakening to that. They're gaining that clarity that, um, this is a divine connection and they're, you know, I'm, I'm sure they spent a lot of time wondering why they were so heartbroken, um, you know, why they feel like, like your souls are literally tied together. And I think they're coming to realize, um, what, what was really going on. Um, and they're starting to see this, like I said, they're starting to see that there is, um, like angels and, and the universe working, um, with divine timing to bring the two of you back in union. So this is a beautiful reading. It's very long. So I'm going to leave it here, Virgo. But if any of this resonated with you, please like and comment and subscribe to my channel. It does not go unnoticed. I have such a tiny channel and every little bit means so much to me. And I really try to like answer people in the comments and interact with you. I want this to be like a family and a community. I value this so much. So um, if it did resonate, go ahead and claim the reading in the comments or, you know, just, just subscribe to my channel so you can get um, notifications when I upload again. Um, but anyways, I love you Virgo and I'll see you in the next one.